Don't do it. Don't do it. So I have four years yet. I'm gonna spend another day, another hour. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going to say, but <laughs> hey guys, hey Goldies, hey Goldies, welcome back to the channel. So, today's video is going to be the end of the back to school stuff. I tried, okay, I really tried. So, don't come at me, don't come at me. This is the last video, and it's gonna be an advice to students. Let's just say students. You could be in primary school, you could be in secondary school, you could be in university, you could be doing your masters, you could just be like in prostitution school, how to get a man school, girl, any school. But this is advice for you. Throughout the week, this week, I just asked a couple of my friends to give advice, and of course, because they're in university here, they give advice to university students where you can still take the advice and apply it. It's about application, you're going to school for a purpose. Apply it. Alright, in this video you will see and hear the advice that they have to give. You can follow it if you want. If you don't, don't blame us for your failure in life. <laughs> but if you listen, just pop it real good girl. Pop it real good. <laughs> okay. This is my advice to students in general. But let me start with university for here at school to apply to my school body. One, <sighs> manners is everything. Manners make it man. Now I love somebody who will pass me in the street and be like, good morning, good afternoon, good night. Like every time you see me, you just see it. I'ma just be like, I like this person. Like manners is important. Two. You're a freshman to school, so you won't know everything. And don't try to throw yourself into everything. Just take it one step at a time, you know. Rome wasn't built in a day, so your social status isn't going to just blow up in a day. Unless, of course, you blue ivy and Beyonce got tired. You got this. Three. Hmm. Books before boys. I know it makes no sense. But how am I supposed to get a husband if I don't try to find a boy? Apparently, you know, it works out in the end. So, books before boys. You're here for a reason. You're here for a purpose. Fulfill that purpose first and then everything will fall into place. Story time. Once upon a time, there was a girl who came to school and she insisted that she wanted to do boys before books. She picked up a little boy who was studying theology, you know, so. <laughs> She swore she was set to be a preacher's wife. Little did she know that none of this was going to work out. But because she studied boys before books, she could not change her destiny. On the other hand, there was Shariel. <laughs> At the end, there was Shariel. And Shariel focused on books before boys. And now that Shariel is getting everything she wants in school, she has picked up the boy and her future is going exactly where she wants it. Hey boo! <laughs> Books before boys are too fast, okay? <laughs> Books before boys, trust me, trust me, you won't regret it. You won't regret it because honey boo boo child, relationship is time and effort, time and effort that you don't have right now other than to invest it in school. Priorities, prioritize, prioritize. Basic, the others don't do drugs, stay in school. Alicia is over here in the corner, she say, don't become a prostitute. But honestly, it's a very good, um, they got bags of money, bags of money. Six or seven, whatever, balance is everything, y'all, honestly. I went from high school, I used to be in everything, not everything in a bad way, but I used to have my academics, you're still in your public speaking, you're still doing your netball, you're still doing your singing, you know, but it's up to you, it's up to you, to time manage, right, know what you can handle, know when it's too much, and make sure that everything balances, you know, because all work and no play definitely made Jack a dull boy, ain't nobody want time to be dull, we out here trying to be golden, yeah, so you saw what I did there. You saw, you, you saw what I did there. <laughs> Go there. If you want to join the choir, join the choir. If you want to join the football club, join the football club. If you want to join 
some writing group or dancing group if you want a gym you know it's up to you to know what you can handle but to make sure that you put yourself out there you grow you know you can't just grow academically you know you want to grow intellectually spiritually emotionally it's a holistic thing mind body soul to balance everything out the real world is real y'all like i'm out here i don't know how to do my taxes they never taught me that in school take an extra course and learn how to do your taxes it will work out for you procrastinate your life away psych i'm kidding proper preparation prevents poor performance proper preparation prevents poor performance say it with me proper preparation prevents poor performance five p's as i said before you have a reason don't deviate from it just get in and do what you gotta do get out in case you didn't watch that movie it's crap but get out i think that's all i have to give for the moment i don't want to drag out this video too long anishka says write everything down and keep all your receipts all my usual people you are still going to jack you up when you're ready to leave keep your receipts don't say i didn't tell you okay when you're here for 10 years just rewatch this video and feel bad about yourself feel bad in the next 10 years okay <laughs> you're welcome now we go on to listen to all the advice that other people all these other irrelevant people <laughs> feel bad no okay i have to give you guys i hope you enjoyed this video shout out to zani tucker he answered the last riddle oh, i need to try and remember what these riddles are what does the letter t and an island have in common and it's they are in the middle of water like how oh, you don't know like i knew that totally duh i didn't have to google it <laughs> <That's> smart <laughs> so shout out to you zani tucker you know in my last previous video but if you haven't checked it out girl <laughs> you know what to do right now you can like pause this video open another tab and we'll watch that video and then come back and see what i had to say i'ma wait <laughs> thank you thank you very much for doing that now we're on the same page when you answer the riddle down in the comments below like you're gonna do every week after this be sure to put like your ig handle or something that i could find you so i could like put a cute little picture or something of you i like having my goldies right here next to me so we could like star in a video together nonetheless shout out to you zani tucker and i hope you continue watching these videos to answer other riddles using my hands a lot be sure to like comment subscribe share turn on post notification subscribe to the vlog channel do it you know what you gotta do do what you gotta do do what you gotta do okay boo okay until next week i guess peace <laughs> that's a wrap hey. you have any advice to give to freshmen and returning students freshman students and returning students yes freshman stay focused don't get distracted by these usual boys <laughs> returning students we're one year closer to graduation we leave in just now vibes <laughs> Atia, Alicia, hold on. Take Let me ask you all a question, ma'am. Um. Uh huh. Yeah. Hey, y'all black right over here. <laughs> y'all have any advice to give to freshmen and returning students? Don't do drugs. Hmm. Stay in school. If I had to give y'all advice, just have a balanced life. Don't be studying all the time. Have a social life and just enjoy yourself. Vibes. And although you're having that social life, you know, you have to stay focused. You know, the main reason for coming here is to school. Right? Boys? Oh, right, right, school. <laughs> Vibes, alright. Advice you want to give to freshmen and returning students? Oh, um, you know, pray, put God first. Um, oh gosh, that's real bullshit advice. For real though, study. Um, take some time to get some social activities going, you know, go out, eat some food, don't cure up, and you're good to go. If you have any advice you want to give to freshmen and returning students? Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Say no to drugs. No, on a real, just keep your head on straight. Keep your head on straight and look out for yourself because nobody else is going to. So. This is some very dread advice, okay? Just stay in school, don't. <laughs> <laughs> you get the idea. Stay in drugs, don't do school. Say. Hi, Dominic, how are you? Fine, how are you? I just came back from Jamaica. Oh, 
<laughs> Selfless promo. You have any advice you want to give to freshmen and returning students? Um, stay true to yourself um, and conquer exactly what you plan to do once again. As they say, believe, believe the truth. I came, I saw, I just saw. Returning students. You have a talent, make you say it and even make yourself better. You start the journey, complete it. Don't give up. Soon it will be over. Freshmen, you come here, then for a purpose. Fulfill your dream. Each one of us have a goal. Make best use of your time. Time is important. Whether you come here for four years or five, make best use of it. If you have a talent, expound on that talent and help one and succeed. Baba Boy signing out. You need to do freshmen though, you said both of them was returning students. True. Yeah. yeah. You write something on that. What is it? Don't do school, stay in drugs. Stay in drugs? <laughs> no, stay in school, don't. <laughs> <laughs> you get yeah. Stay in drugs, don't do school. Say. You can, you, can just, you can just cut this part. No, I don't edit stuff. I just plop in there. It's funnier. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nothing still? Well, I need to yeah, give me a script room. I just trim my own kind of. Why do you why I cut it in? Cut it look cooler. Yeah. 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 I'm not talk properly, I can trade on. Talk louder. Blue, I want my. BTW, Vinci Massive, carry on. I'm going to just put everything in any end and just make you the star of the show. See what I mean? Sorry. So, we want Charion. <laughs> Emmanuel for the umpteenth time. Hey, Advice of freshmen or returning students. Freshmen. All right, freshmen. I'm going to tell a little. Welcome to the University of the Southern Caribbean. You have four years here. You will spend another day, another hour. That's why I ask Sharon to edit the video. When I talk in real shit, you can't fall out of anything. What's in the middle? What does T and an island have in common? The letter T and an island have in common. They're both in the middle of water. W A T E R. <laughs> She's like, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah.